Changes coming in 2022. So let's talk about the good stuff, guys. Um, me as a Giants fan, I can tell you I am so excited about the direction the Giants are going in. Uh, my girlfriend said to me, the way I sound now is exactly the same way I sounded when Joe Judge was hired in 2020. And I can't argue with her with that. Um, the Giants hired Joe Shane, the assistant general manager of the Buffalo Bills, and Brian Dable, the offensive coordinator of the Buffalo Bills, to be the Giants' new head coach and general manager. I couldn't be happier with these choices. Um, after the Washington game, talked about it a little while ago, that field goal, Washington misses it. Giants win the game, but because the Giants are not disciplined and they had a penalty, the Washington team, Washington team got to re-kick it. After that game, I decided for my own mental health um, that I needed to start watching another team to root for so I could watch some winning football because I just couldn't handle, I couldn't do the job. I was so mad. I was like, I need something else to get me over this. So I decided... I'm going to watch the Buffalo Bills. I love Josh Allen. He is my favorite quarterback in the NFL. I don't think there's a quarterback more talented than him. The way he runs, the way he throws, and his leadership, it's the three best intangibles, or the three best traits, excuse me, and he's the best in all three of those, in my opinion. Patrick Mahomes is a stud. Justin Herbert's a stud. Aaron Rodgers is a stud. There's a bunch of great quarterbacks. My opinion, Josh Allen is the best quarterback in the NFL right now. It's just my opinion. Um... Watching the Bills was one of the most enjoyable football experiences I've had in 2021. They had a great season. They had ups and downs. I did my research on Brandon Bean, on Sean McDermott, and these guys were amazing. The way they built their team was exactly how I would build an NFL team. Um, all the way down to, you can watch videos on the Buffalo Bills channel. Again, I, I, I'm just a big football fan, so I do research. I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to see how the Buffalo Bills draft. I want to see this. You look at the Buffalo Bills, they have like all these TV screens and all these computers basically simulating different drafts for them. And as picks are going, it recalculates where their players are and their evaluations so then they can make their draft picks more efficiently. And then you watch Dave Gettleman with the Giants and he has magnets. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, this is how I would run a football team. You know, they believe in positional value. You know, in the 2018 draft, they traded up to take Josh Allen, someone who was unproven, but they knew the quarterback position is the most important position in sports, and they picked their guy, and it worked out. Um, I just loved everything about the Bills. It, it's very sad to see how their season ended, but I'm happy it ended that way as a Giants fan because then we hired Joe Shane. Joe Shane has been Brandon Bean's right-hand man for the past couple of years, and the Bills have gone to three playoff appearances, couple wins in the playoffs, and have had winning seasons in the past, like, four years. So, loved the Joe Shane hire, and then I loved the um, um, Brian Dable hire. I tell people all the time, I feel like I manifested those. I was so into the Bills, and now all the Bills guys that I loved are over and now running the Giants. So, I just can't explain to you guys how absolutely excited I am for this season. Um, a couple things I want to say, though. Joe Shane has said a couple times, this isn't a rebuild. We still want to be competitive. That was kind of the telltale that Dave Gettleman maybe wasn't doing things right in 2018. I just want to let all Giants fans know this is my opinion on this. We are absolutely 150% in a rebuild right now. I'm going to repeat that. We are absolutely 150% in a rebuild right now. Joe Shane is doing a very good job of not getting scorched by the media. New York fans love you guys. I'm part of your community. New York fans do not want to hear rebuild. They don't. We want instant gratification. We're not going to get that this year. We are going to have some holes on this team. I think we're going to have holes in the secondary, and I think we're going to have holes in the quarterback position. And because of that, we aren't going to have a great year this year. This is year one of a three- or four-year rebuild under Joe Shane and Brian Dable. I'm going to repeat that again. This is year one of a three- to four-year rebuild under Joe Shane and Brian Dable. If we have a top-ten pick next year, that's not the worst thing in the world. 
It's absolutely not the worst thing in the world. We need more holes to be filled on this team. It's not going to take one year. Dave Gettleman left us in cap hell. And again, I'm just going to quickly explain. Right now, every team has somewhere between 200... Every team has about $200 million you can spend on your team. You cannot spend more. And at a certain date, you have to be under that cap of $200 million. Right now, as I'm recording this, I believe the Giants are only... Five to seven million above the cap. I could be wrong about that, but I know when Joe Shane came in, we were above it. Because of that, we can't go and sign free agents. We can't. We don't have the space. We do not have the space right now. Next year, we may have some space. This year, we don't. All we as Giants fans should expect this year is competitive football. That is what, if we go five and 13, six and 12, or five and thirteen, uh, five and twelve. It's seventeen game season. Sorry, five and twelve or six and eleven. That's okay. What we want to see, though, guys, is in each game we want to see competitive football. That's just the truth of it. Rebuilds take time. It might be better than that. It might be, but we need to be patient with these guys. They got a lot of work they got to do. They got to get rid of a lot of talented players on our team that just aren't fitting. Because of the cap hit, how much money they're making, because of their age, we have to let them go. And we're going to get young guys in here. And some young guys don't blossom in their first year. Some guys do. Micah Parson on the Cowboys. Look at him. Great rookie year. Um, some guys don't, though. And because of that, we need to be patient with these with these guys. This is not going to be a season where we're trying to make the playoffs. This is a season where we want to see improvement and competitive play. So when Joe Shane says we want to be competitive, that's what he's talking about. He wants to see improvement. And that's what we as a community should want to see too. I know it's hard. I hate watching the Giants lose as much as anyone else. But finally, the Giants went out of house and hired guys that were not related to the Giants franchise in any way, shape, or form in Joe Shane and Brian Dable and brought in proven commodities that have worked in the past couple of years. Have faith in these guys. It's hard to. It's been a lot of losing since 2016. I know that. But we got to have faith. I'm really excited about Joe Shane and Brian Dable. And this draft is going to give us a great insight. Great, Yeah, it's going to give us great insight into what direction they're going in. And I hope that they do it the right way. And if they don't go the way I want, as we started off in this, in this episode, I said, hey, I don't want to go quarterback and wide receiver. If, let's say, Joe Shane takes Malik Willis and Chris Olave at 5-7, and seven, I hope I'm proven wrong. I hope I'm proven wrong. It's not what I would do, but I hope I'm proven wrong. I'm going to have faith in these guys, just like I did in Gettleman. Now, Gettleman, after two years, I should have said, no, we need to fire this clown. This is not going to work. I'm giving these guys three to four years. If they take a quarterback this year, I'm giving them three. If they, could, if they wait to take a quarterback until next year, I'll give them four. I'm very excited about Joe Shane and Brian Dable. They're going to be, it's going to be very different. It's going to be, there's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be some tough losses, but I think it's going to be, I think it's going to work out. I, I have a better feeling about this. I'm trying to hold my expectation, but I have a better feeling about it. 